What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Import Outlaws. Today we're going to be getting stage fright unloaded and get her back in the shop to get ready for the next couple races coming up. It was officially confirmed today that we finished second in the SERA championship for 2023. So a huge shout out to my team, you know, my wife, Jason Myers, uh, my mom and dad, the rest of my family for being huge supporters of this thing. Without them, definitely couldn't have done it. And I appreciate all you guys sharing it to your friends, coming up to me at the track, telling me how much you like it and stuff like that. I mean, it really makes me feel good and you guys are awesome. Also a huge shout out to Dustin Carter at Action Graphics. He's been a huge supporter of this whole deal. Friends like that really make this thing awesome. And I appreciate all of his support as well. got a few things I'm gonna be updating on stage fright in preparation for this race at I-75. I'm feeling like there's still a little bit too much right side weight. Uh, the car is still pushing on entry some and I feel like if I can get 30 or 40 pounds off of this thing it would make a huge difference. I have a couple ideas how I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be a lot of work but you know you gotta do what you gotta do to win and right now I just feel like the car's a little off. We're gonna get this thing fixed and she's gonna be a rocket ship. I have a lot of weight right here in bars that really aren't necessary for the safety of the cage. So we're gonna go through and cut a lot of that out by our calculations that should save about 25 pounds. That's gonna be huge being on the right side. I think that's probably a big part of why this thing is pushing the way it is because any weight over there on the right side it just isn't good, especially with the K-swap being so heavy on the right front. going through and taking care of that rat's nest we had. If you guys watched the video where we case swapped this car, kind of just threw it together to get the car running and it never got addressed. But now since I'm moving all of this stuff, I'm gonna take the time, get it all fixed, and then that way we don't have to worry about it down the road. Once I get all that wiring out, I can start working on cutting out some bars. <music> That little bit right there was 15.2 pounds. I'm gonna write it down. We're gonna add it all up at the end, see how much we saved. So I'm working on getting the door pulled off of stage fright. It seemed like every time the axle came out the other night, I'd spin, hit the berm, and tear the door off. Of course, brand new door, gotta tear it up somehow. I'm almost starting to think it's bad luck to have a nice, fresh car. Every time I do, it seems like you go out there and it gets tore up or we don't have any type of luck. Now that she's starting to get some love marks on her and getting roughed up a little bit, y'all better watch out because this thing's gonna be a hot rod. All right, so now that I got this door pulled off, I wanna talk about what I plan on doing here. As you guys know, this whole episode is based around weight savings. What I did is I measured this bar all the way down here to the cage and measured from up here all the way down here. What I came up with was 95 inches of tubing and that's inch and three quarter 095 wall tubing. What I plan on doing is going from right here all the way over to this corner and then running a vertical bar from this top bar right here down to the new bar I'm gonna add. And then I'll reattach that brace to that vertical bar so that the door bar has something in the middle of it. But this is a little disclaimer. If I do the math and I can't save at least 
I don't know, I'm just gonna say five pounds. I'm not gonna do it because that's a lot of work. It's gonna be kind of hard to get in there and uh, cut everything out and clean it up and make it look good. So there's gonna be a lot of time wrapped up in it. Something that's important to keep in mind, you don't wanna sacrifice safety to do it. I mean, you can make a car that's a tin can, weighs almost nothing, but at the end of the day, if you roll over and it crushes around you, and you're trapped inside or you get hurt or something like that it's not worth it so guys be smart when you're doing this and don't just go cutting everything out and not bracing it up in a way that makes it safe all right so i went through put my algebra skills to the test and got a weight and not to spoil the surprise but we are going to be cutting those bars out all right so i'm going to take a quick second to explain this current situation 95 inches of inch and three quarter 095 wall tubing which weighs 1.679 pounds per foot. We have 95 inches divided by 12 to get the amount of feet we have in that times 1.679, which equals 13.29 pounds. This will be the new setup. So we got 63 inches of inch and a half tubing, 095 wall thickness at 1.426 pounds per foot. 63 inches divided by 12 times 1.426 equals 7.49 come over here 13.29 minus 7.49 5.8 pounds saved i know five pounds might sound minor but it really adds up so now looking at the board uh we are close we are just over 25 pounds of weight that will not be going back on the car i mean we're working in the right direction not only that but by moving all the gauges and wiring and all that stuff we probably saved about five maybe six pounds of weight over on that right side and it will be getting moved over to the left side which will be beneficial for us you guys have seen in all the videos since i did this case swap we've been shoving the nose really hard on entry and this has been a problem i think we're going to fix it with this and getting that weight off of there or moved over to the left side is definitely going to help <laughs> So I got a little surprise for you. I'm actually on my way down to Florida right now to meet up with my dad. Found a really good deal on a trailer, so I'm going to pick it up. Well, 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 look who it is. <laughs> hey, I'm all suntan now and ready for TV. Yeah, he's been working at the Daytona International Speedway, getting to enjoy the races and everything. 500 is this weekend, but it's looking like it might rain. It's supposed to be racing my car Saturday night, but we got rained out. For those of you that don't know, my dad, he actually still races and stuff. They're going to be racing New Smyrna Speedway, but they went ahead and canceled the race. Here she is in all her glory. It's not new, but it's new to us, and we're going to make it good. I'm definitely going to get rid of these ramp overs. These things are like 4,000 pounds. It's definitely a lot of weight we don't need. Our cars fit between the fenders easily, so don't really need them. Maybe I'll use them to make some setup blocks for the house or something like that. But it would have came in handy in scrubbing the other night when the old men were underneath the car changing the damn transmission in the dirt. Yeah, that was not fun. And not only were we in the dirt, but it was freezing too. We got it done though, and I'm glad we did it because we ended up finishing the race. All right, we got the trailer all swapped around, hooked to my truck, and I'm gonna be heading back to Georgia. So heading back to Florida. Yep, going back down there for a little while. He'll be up next week and then we'll be heading to the SCRA points banquet. Second in points. Second. Not quite where we wanted to be, but pretty dang close. We are almost there.
got everything done, I'm gonna take a minute to tell you guys what was going on. As you guys saw, I cut a lot out. Uh, we've gotten a lot of weight out of the car. I've added some bars going to the front end just to make up for the material that we did cut out. I cut out that dash bar, which does have a little bit of structural integrity to it. So I wanted to go back and add something. I got those all finished up. I welded in a piece of square tubing to help support the pedal assembly. Other than that, we're gonna start bend some aluminum and putting the dash back together. I wanna to give my buddy Elliot at Vining Tools a quick shout out. He sent me this brand new bender. It works awesome for bending flat steel. If you guys are like me, you've been using a vise to do it and it kinda of works well, but definitely not as good as this thing. He also sells a bunch of different tools on his eBay page, so you guys make sure to check him out. I'm gonna put a link down in the description and shout out to Elliot for sponsoring today's episode. I actually used that thing to make a bracket for the CCU mount and it works awesome. I mean, you put it in the press, a few pumps, bends the metal right up and you're good to go. Things have been pretty hectic around here. I'm trying to get as much as I can done on stage right before we head to the SCDRA banquet this weekend. I-75 is coming fast and I want to have a little bit of time to try to get the trailer ready too. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but I actually still have a stock fuel tank in this car and I really want to switch it to a fuel cell, but I just haven't had the time with the new baby and everything. I knew time was going to be a little pressing once he was born and it definitely has been, but I'm doing what I can. We're just having to prioritize different things and get certain projects done at certain points, but I don't know, that's all part of it. That's the thing about racing, it's a constant evolution and you're constantly trying to be better and make the car better and if you're not, you're not winning. While I've been doing all of that other stuff, I've actually went through and rebuilt the transmission that we took out of the car at Screven. Come to find out, whenever I welded the diff, I must have welded the spider gear crooked and that's what was causing the axle to push out. I was suspecting something was wrong with the diff and whenever I pulled it apart, I checked it and it looks like it was about five thousandths out of square. And not only that, but when you look through it, it also wasn't centered inside the diff housing. I'm not really sure how it happened. Whenever I welded it, I had the axles in. I always take a screwdriver and kind of pry the spider gear back against the housing so it sits flat. I'm not really sure, but it is what it is at this point. I'm just glad I kind of found something that led me to believe there was an issue with it. I feel a little better about putting it back in the car. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to welding those bars up, try to get all that finished. And one thing I need to do is clean the shop because it is a disaster. <music> in all of his uh, mischievous glory. He had these little toy basketballs and I guess he was trying to hide them from Sabrina, hit them in the toaster oven and Sabrina didn't know about it. She went to go make some toast one morning, was getting that thing warmed up, thought the house was on fire. Turns out it was just some melted basketballs on the uh, grate here. So taking the heat gun, trying to heat them up and get them off of here. Not only have we been getting a lot of work done on the race cars, but we've been trying to get the mobile headquarters going too. So dad's been out here working on getting the wheel bearings redone, getting the trailer brakes up to par uh, because we do a lot of traveling. You don't want to be broke down the side of the road and stuff. Right now my dad's playing with his favorite stuff, grease. You having fun? No. <laughs> I hate grease. Grease hates me. I guess I can't say it hates me because it follows me everywhere I go. We've already put a whole new brake set up on the right side of the trailer and we're working on getting the bearings re-greased and checking them out and replacing the ones that need to be replaced. Uh, new seals as well because this trailer did sit for a while before I picked it up. <laughs> All right, 
right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on another big project we had to do. I'm getting pretty close to having the dash done, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this while I still have my dad here in town. Uh, we're actually leaving to head out of town tomorrow for the SCDRA banquet, so we're gonna try to knock this thing out. We're exhausted. We've had a huge list of things to get done, but this sport, it's a grind. So uh, it's definitely not for the week. I know my dad's real excited to get this transmission changed out again. No. How many times can a person do this in one month? This is number four. Yeah, we're starting to get pretty good at changing this K-series stuff out. I mean, I was used to doing the B-series, the H-series, so it took me a minute to get used to swapping the K-series stuff. We're getting a little, uh, getting a little too experienced with it right now. We're just trying to get this thing swapped tonight and mounted up. We're not really trying to get everything connected and all the axles and stuff back in, so it shouldn't be too bad. It should take us about 45 minutes or so, but we need to get some sleep. Freight grinder finally gave up on me. Turn the switch on, nothing. But if I give it a little tap, kind of get a little something, but yeah, that thing's done. <laughs> to add rear hood pins because we cut out all that bracing i'm no longer gonna have rear hinges like i had before all right so i got these hood pin rods just kind of snug down i'm gonna take the hood and since we already had the front rods in here i'm gonna line up the hood with those and then just kind of take my hand and beat down on the hood right where the new ones are and it will kind of give me a spot to drill for the, the actual rod to go through the hood And before I do the other side, I'm going to drill this one just to make sure everything's nice and lined up. And then I'll go do the same thing over there. Overall, I'm really happy with how much weight we saved and how much we put back into the car. Keep in mind that we moved a lot of stuff from the right front to the left front with moving that wiring harness and gauges and all that stuff. So overall, we took out 64.7 pounds through the bars that we added and some of the bracing we had to redo and uh, the aluminum work for the dash and stuff like that. We added 37.3 pounds back. So let me look at my notes here. Overall, 27.4 pounds that we took off of the car that's not going back on there but when it comes to the right front weight we got 37 pounds off of that right front my goal was 35 pounds we went a little over but that's only going to help us i know that everything we did seemed like a lot of work just to save a little bit of weight but the series has gotten so competitive that it's almost necessary to be 110 percent anytime you show up at the track these days you can't just show up with a half prepared car and expect to do well everyone has just gotten so damn fast that it just doesn't work like that anymore but when you put up the kind of money that these tracks and the promoters and the series are doing i mean it's what you expect we're running for over hundred and fifteen thousand dollars in winner's purses this year i'm just hoping that i can pick up a couple of them you know but that's gonna be it for this one i appreciate you guys for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button and i will catch y'all next time